Hey guys, welcome back to Jay's to-do list here. Um, today I've got my thickness planner, which I'm having some issues with it. It's uh, not cranking up and down and it makes it really, really difficult. Correct that, it's actually not cranking up. It'll only crank down. It actually makes it quite difficult for edging um, blanks and stuff to glue up together for your signs. Or for this case, I'm mostly using this planner since I'm at my backyard workshop instead of my big workshop. I'm using this for my other channel wood turning outside the box. I'll post a link for that up here in the card for you or and I'll put it in the description. It's another channel that I've started where I do a lot of wood turning and um, I use this planner a lot and it's giving me fits and it's driving me bonkers. So I picked this. This is actually the second one of these I've owned and I'm going to show it to you here in just a second. Okay, this is the this is the DeWalt Thickness Planner DW733. It, it is a base model and it's true throughout all kinds of different brands for if you're having this issue on another brand and it looks similar to the DeWalt. Guess what, that's because it is. So they contracted out and some lots of off-brands are now carrying the same model because this is an older style of planer and lots of off-brands are now copying it. So if you have an issue with a different brand of planer, stay tuned, check a look, take a look at it to where we dig into this, see if it looks like yours and it'll probably solve the issue for yours too. Okay, let's dive on into this and see if we can figure out what the problem. I don't know exactly what's going on with it, but I have had these apart a few times, so I got a good idea what's going on with it. So let's take this apart and see if we can figure it out. So you, let's try to go. Well, first, this is your lock. Okay, it's unlocked when it's up. So I'm gonna go up with it. So now it's free. Uh, it goes up, but it's really, really hard. But going down, it's just like la di da, going down. Now let's find if we're just making toothpicks. Let's figure this out. Okay, so we gotta take off this handle first. Um, it takes a really small Allen key, so I'm gonna go ahead and find that Allen key. The downside of moving your main shop to another facility is you don't have any of the tools you used to have in your workshop. But the plus side is you get to buy new tools. So, here's a new set of Allen keys. Yippee! By the way, so the handle takes a four millimeter Allen key. Woo! Let's set that off to the side. And then your lid looks like it takes a little bit larger one. Let's go with a five. Yep, it's a five. Five millimeters. Put off. Not connected to that, it's just there. We'll set this to the side. Okay, so there's a big piece of wood stuck in here. Alright, one of the things that can happen is the sides can get jammed up with sawdust. And uh, sawdust is not your friend, although it generates probably the most sawdust of all the tools in your entire shop, except for maybe your lathe. Um, let's go ahead and get them all vacuumed out. Yeah, this thing will be working a lot better. Hopefully, that's all it is. Bye, Dalek. Good place to start. You guys, while well, I'm on the subject about vacuuming, I want to show you something real quick. This is a shop vac top that is designed, oh, a shop vac top that is designed to go on a five gallon bucket. They are super cheap and easy to ship. And they work pretty good too. Okay, now a common problem with these is they get jammed up with the sawdust and that normally correlates to cranking down so you can't get it cranked down all the way. I'll show you what I'm talking about because this is actually suffering from that as well. It's just once I'm able to crank it up, it might clean it out. It's not that bad yet, but I want to show you what I'm talking about. So if your machine's having issues cranking down, this is probably the culprit. See all the sawdust here? So we took the top off on this side and this sawdust shouldn't be here, there should be a gap and that is keeping this thing from cranking all the way down, believe it or not. So you need to get this all cleaned out with something and get it all vacuumed out and get it all pretty again. So I don't think I'm going to luck out with that being my problem. I think my problem is deeper than that. Okay, we're going to take these slides out, one at a time. So 
The same hole I took out the, um, the screw for this metal slide up here. I'm going to put a screwdriver in and I'm just going to tap it with a mallet here. slide here is a little dirty. It's not that bad. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and then I'm going to sand it with some 600 grit sandpaper. It's not bad at all. Don't feel any burrs. Not in this one. But I'm going to do this to all four. Nice and smooth. I do want to point out, hey, I do want to point out that when I chose a screwdriver that fits and to knock these out, there's a thread down in here. I've got one, I chose one that's small enough to go all the way through the threads here to where I'm hitting about here in the steel. That way I'm not boogering up those, boogering up those threads. This one was a little more difficult to get out. It could be the culprit. So going to clean it up. We clean them up enough to get it to ride. I think the oil will fix it now. Ooh, smooth as butter. Now down's always a little down's always a little easier because you got gravity working for you. Working good. Alright, now I'm going to vacuum out underneath here so we can get these really small things because I got some really cool glue ups uh, for some plywood, really skinny, intricate things. So we're going to go down real skinny and then we'll glue them all up for my lathe turning channel. Awesome! That makes me happy. I'm going to put this thing back together, just follow the reverse instructions, or watch this cool, awesome, sped up thing. Okay, going down, going up. I got a fix, Uncle Mike. I know that was bothering you earlier this year. But she's going good now. Let's get to turning. I'm Jay, that's my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.